Hi, welcome back to my Sony Vegas for Beginners. I'm, my name's Craig, and let's move on with part four of our series. So, so far we've got a, um, a few clips laid out on our timeline here. <clears throat> we've learned how to fade in, both audio and video, and fade out, and we've got some transitions, some crossfades. We've learned how to do that. So we've got a nice little short little video clip here that we've created. Let's say we want to add a title. Okay. Now, whenever you let's when you add a title, if you want the title to appear superimposed over top of your video, then what you're going to do is you're going to create a new track above these tracks so that you can do that. So take your mouse and choose an area on this this header here, this track header, an area where there's nothing, no buttons or anything like that, and just right click. And you want to insert new video track. Now you've got an empty track up here where you're going to put your title. Uh, you're going to put it above your video track because you want it to appear over top. Now you'll see what I mean. Let's come over to our media, I mean, sorry, our um, media generators. And you've got all kinds of things in here. Let's just come down for, for just for now to text. And you want to select one of these that has a transparent background, like this one, this one. If you select one of these, it's going to cover your whole video with a solid background. It's going to look just like that. And you don't want that. Well, in this case, we don't. So I'm going to grab this one here because it's already got like a little shadow thing happening with it. And we're just going to click and drag it down to the timeline. Now, in this case, you're going to have to backspace and actually type a new title here. So we're just going to say camping and you can change the size of the title you can change the different things just for now we'll just ac accept the default okay so it's just a white title with a little shadow there All right so let's play back our video okay, you can see how the title starts right away and the video kind of fades in so I don't necessarily want that so let's move it ahead a little bit so that it starts a little bit after the video starts. Okay. And again, the length of it, you would adjust by clicking and dragging the ends of it and making it shorter so that it doesn't last as long. And if you want it to fade in, let's just zoom in on the timeline a little bit here. You do the same thing you did with your video tracks. You take your mouse, put it over the upper right hand, the upper left hand corner to fade in. So you see that little icon there, and cl click and drag it in. Okay, and then to fade it out, same thing. The other side, make your little fade out just like that. Okay, now we watch it. And you got your. I still fade in and fade out. Now, if you want to ch adjust the properties of this title and change the colors and things, you'd come back to here and click on Generated Media, this little button right here, and you'll get this little dialog. And you can Again, you can change the font size. You can change the font type. You can choose... Some fonts don't work uh, with, with, you know, depending on what Vegas likes and what do doesn't like. But there, we'll just stick with that, just because I, I don't want to. I don't want to waste time here. You can also um, change the placement of the font of the title. So top, bottom. We're just going to stick with the middle. Maybe just down a little bit, just like that. Okay. Now to see what you're doing, you want to make sure. Just take that out of the way for a minute. Make sure that your cursor, your play cursor, is where the title is sitting, so you can see your preview and what what's it supposed to look like. I'll bring this back so that we can make sure that we can see both things at the same time, both the preview and the control panel here for the for the title. So we can come over to properties and we can change the color. These are things that you can easily play with on your own. I don't have to go over each little thing. So we'll make it green because camping is kind of a green thing. You can change the transparency. Okay. We can change the outline. We can add an outline to it. Right now the outline is yellow. We can make it black. 
um, and, and change the thickness of that. The feathering of it. You know, you just play with this stuff. There's a shadow. You can play with the shadow, make it more pronounced. Whatever. And uh, there we go. So that's something you can have some little bit of fun with. So there, now we've got a nice title that fades in and fades out. With a nice color and some whatever effects you want. All right. Now we're going to talk about adding a little bit of music to your track. You know, we've gotten a long way here. We've got nice fade-ins, cross-fades, and transitions. And a nice title here. Of course, you can your video can be longer. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Presumably, you have some music on your hard drive that you want to add to this video. You need to use your explorer and navigate to the hard drive and folder where your music is stored. And I found my files. Now, there's just sort of two ways of doing this. The shortcut is to basically drag it down and it will automatically create a new track. What you're going to have to do here is you're going to have to use your scroll bar on the left hand, uh, right hand side here and scroll down so that you can see below where you've got your other tracks. And you've got this empty space here. You could right click over here and say create audio track and it will, but you don't need to do that in this case. All you need to do is take your song file I've chosen this instrumental that I created and drag it down onto your timeline on the gray area where there's no tracks below your video track. And there you go, it already creates a, automatically creates a new track and there's your song file. Okay, now let's just see what happens here. We'll play this back. Okay, and you can adjust the volume over here of the track, so I don't want it too loud. Don't like that for now, okay? And you see how it kind of starts right away before the video even fades in? You might not want that. You might want to drag it over here a little bit so that it starts a little bit after the video starts. You see how that's kind of starting to come together, you know, the timing? Video editing is all about timing. All right. Now, obviously, my video is a lot shorter than the audio clip, so I'm going to zoom out on my timeline. Remember, you use the mouse wheel when you, when you want to do that. It's a handy thing. And use the trimmer, or you can just make a cut here at the end of your video. Put your cursor on the end of the video and press the S key. You have to kind of click on the audio track so that you can highlight it. Press your S key, and then it's going to, uh, sorry, then it's going to separate this. Then you can just delete that part. So we don't need the whole audio track. And of course, now what's going to happen is during the end of the video, those things are going to fade out, but the music's going to stop. So once again, upper corner with the mouse, when you get that little icon, you click, you drag it in, and you're going to get a fade. There you go. So now you've got titles, your main video, and some music underneath. Now you've got more tracks here than what you can fit on your screen. There's two things you can do. You can use a bigger monitor. <laughs> you know, the bigger the better. You can drag the center of your uh, Vegas uh, interface here so that you can make more space. You're making your preview monitor smaller, but you're making more room for your, uh, your work area here where you've got your tracks. You can also, also change the size of the tracks. So if you're finished with your, let's say you're finished with your title track, you're not going to use that anymore. Just make it smaller. See, you drag the little line between these head track headers to make it smaller or bigger if you, if you need to see it better. Um, or you just use these little minimize, maximize icons here and it automatically throws it down to a small size. Same with the audio here. Let's just do that. Because if we're done playing with something, then we don't need to have it taking up space. So those are some little interface controls that I thought would be useful for you to know about as you get more tracks. And believe me, three or four tracks is nothing. 
once you get into some more complex projects, you're going to be using 6, 8, 10, 12 tracks or more. And with Sony Vegas Professional, you can use an unlimited amount of tracks. And you'll see later why we might want to do that. There's some really cool and complex uh, th operations and, and effects that you can do, but you know they require more tracks. And we have the freedom to do that. So now we have something that's ready to export onto a CD, DVD, the internet. But right now we've got to go because it's, we're at our 10 minute limit. And so we're going to move on to the next part. Um, until then, thanks for watching and we'll see you there.